Swoze. Reasons why girls go, let's go. How is it acceptable behavior to just fall off the face of the earth? Here's the problem. In the back of our minds, we all know we're hiding behind a screen. And if we ghost, we never have to see that person ever again. And also, Yo. what's the consequence for ghosting? We also know there's no consequence. When you get older, hide and seek becomes a game called ghosting. Only nobody ever comes to find you, right? You can block them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people go oh. for all kind of reasons. Oh. I'm gonna share some things that my friends have said. I'm gonna share some things that my Instagram followers said, and then I'm gonna share my story about the one time I've ever ghosted somebody. You meet somebody behind a screen. You establish comms. You actually both leave your house to meet up someplace, go back home, message them again from behind that screen, and then you never God. hear from them again. That's dating in the 21st century. Yep. See, we're in an internet-based society. There's really no consequence when you're hiding behind a screen and you just stop responding to somebody. And here's the other part. And then until you meet them in person, not 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 meet up, like stumble upon them in person. Now it's like, where the fuck were you? What happened? What I do? You're not saying what's going on. Two nine times out of ten, it's something that we did or something that we're doing that's rubbing the other person the wrong way. Let's talk about it. All right. Let's talk about it. They don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. They see one thing, they're like, oh, yep, I mean, keep my distance. They don't even bother to figure it out. They're just sitting there assuming, shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, they can see something, but it's not what it is. That could be a thing too, buff. Right? I've asked some of my friend girls reasons they specifically ghosted dudes, as in they went on a date with a guy, and then after the date, never hit him up. So these are actual real life accounts. First one, my friend met this guy on an app. In his bio, it said he was six foot two. On the date, he was like five foot six, <laughs> ghosted. Don't lie in your bios. Okay, so if lie. you're on the dating apps and you say one thing and you show up in your another thing, that could be a reason. <laughs> another friend girl says she went on a date, the dude left zero dollar tip, ghosted. Maybe drop a clue for the dude because you just ghosting after that date and he doesn't leave a tip? Right? Who's to say the next one he wouldn't leave a hundred dollars type shit? You know what I'm saying, bro? It's, it'd be little shit too. It'd be little shit that people ghost uh, each other. He's gonna go on to the next date and not leave a tip. So, you know, next time, say something like, really? Not even a dollar? So that way, if you do ghost, he can think back like, why did she just, <gasps> it's because I didn't leave a tip. So give him a clue, no. give, give us a breadcrumb. In my personal experience, what I've noticed when it comes to girls ghosting, it's typically because they got something else on the back burner. They're talking you up, conversations are going good, and then all of a sudden they stop. It's because option three, popped up and now is priority one. My yeah. friend B uh. had this really good point. She said she doesn't like to ghost anybody even when the guy is not getting it. What she'll do is Casper the friendly ghost. And that's where you slowly start dialing back. You take like a day to respond, then two days to respond, and then three word responses. Nah, that's too, that's, at that point, just fucking leave it at nothing, bro, ghost. <laughs> at that point, just ghost. And that's just me, you know what I'm saying? Why deal with that? Why deal with that? You're literally, you're in, you're choosing to do that. Why would you want to do that? If you know, like, the intentions of, at the end of all of this is, you're just going to ghost him. Just fucking ghost him. Or at least tell him, you're already, you thinking about hitting him up, or vice versa. You thinking about hitting her up, whatever, whatever. And you're re responding a day after, two days after, three, for what? Just tell him, listen, I, I ain't fucking with it. I'm good. Move along. You know what I'm saying? Then two word responses, then one word, and then no words. Cast where the friendly goes. Moving on. Uh -huh. One thing you never do. Don't keep hitting the girl up after she stopped replying. When you're just there having a yeah. conversation by yourself, that girl <clears throat> is a million percent screenshotting and sharing it with her group chats, all right? Just don't, yep. it's not a guess, that's a fact. One message, they don't reply. Two max, they don't reply, and you're getting those vibes. You're stop. Done. We're always on the grid, okay? I've... If they keep ignoring you. If they respond and they keep ignoring you, bro, move on, bro. Why are you dwelling on that? You know what I'm saying? Sourced some of the most brilliant minds on the internet. <laughs> the people who follow me on Instagram. I actually had my own list of stuff, but y'all submitted some ideas for this that beat mine. Here we go. This is the one I hear a lot. You being creepy. Ghost. If you're too... Wait, what? <clears throat> Here we go. This is the one I... I was playing D and D with my friend Sand. I use your name for other characters. What? I hear a lot. You being creepy, ghost. 
If you're too awkward or too nice, girls want the nice guy, but a lot of them don't want the nice guy. You know what I mean? There's a balance. There's a yin and the yang. Bro, they don't even know what the fuck they want. Nobody knows exactly what the fuck they want, bro. Let's keep it on it. Because once they have it, one little thing can throw them off. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I got, I want this. Then they find it. Oh, wait, no, I don't like how they, he, he delivered it or she delivered it. Let me go over here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nope. That motherfucker be piggy. Dang. Nowadays, you say one wrong thing on a date, ghosted. Done. You come off too strong or they got what they wanted out of the interaction. Listen, it happens. Mm, they think they're better than you. They don't want to talk to you. And this is the most hard hitting one coming up right here. Better graphics. <clears throat> ghosted. <laughs> ghosted. <laughs> And I mean, let's talk that's, about it because they're actually in a relationship when they told you they were single. That's, that's another so good one. Mm. <laughs> that's weird. Too soon. PTSD. The conversation wasn't hitting and the <clears throat> wordplay ain't fizzing. I feel that. I did see the creepy stuff come up a lot. So fellas, pay attention. Tact. T-A-C-T. -T. Look it up. A lot of girls have it. A lot of guys don't. I mean, I think this applies to some of us too. They'll ghost us because uh. they're so scared of our midichlorian count. They're so fearful they're gonna fall in love with us. So for their own protection and their own sanity, poof, poor manners, not enough respect to tell someone no, or they're just disinterested. People just hate dealing with emotions and they hate confrontation. <clears throat> Guys, once you give the girls the ick. Hold on. People just hate dealing with emotions. Avoiding confrontation, not mature enough to be direct. Speaking from personal experience when I was 19, 20. Okay, people are cowards and prefer to avoid confrontation when in reality owning up to your feelings is best. 100%. Too scared to offend and self confront with any honesty. Poor man is not enough respect to tell someone no or that you are disinterested. People lose interest and are afraid to hurt the other person so they just fall back. I feel like doing that hurts them even more. Just fucking tell them, bro. <laughs> just tell them you ain't fucking with it and move on. Leaving them on ghosts, it's like now they're they're in their head all the fucking time thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? What did I do? Now they're questioning themselves. Now they're questioning what you did. And like, it, it's worse that way, I feel like. The motions and they hate confrontation. Guys, once you give the girls the ick, it's really hard to come back from that. I mean, it's virtually Mission Impossible, whatever Mission Impossible we're on right now. I mean, Bro. this one is a good one because they suck. This was a good one. They only hit you up when they're bored. Ghosting because ah, they make bad yeah. choices. Yeah. Mm. When they're bored, I've actually had friends show me their phone about this one. If you send four or five texts just to say what's up, we should hang. That could rub people the wrong way. Text management. Mm, this is the best one for the plot. Wait, has anybody here ghosted somebody because of their horoscope? Let me know, please. I, that, that, I don't know about this one. This is the only one I let slide that I don't know about. Somebody who just likes small doses of flirty interactions. So just leapfrogging from lily pad to lily pad. You're just one of many lily pads you get hopped on? Hmm. When one of their friends or somebody they know says something to them. Yo, this was a big one too. They heard things about you from their friends. Bro. There's two sides to every story, bro. If you see me do or say something to somebody else, right? And you go and tell other people and other people and other people. Depending on how they <clears throat> take that information you're giving them about the thing that I said or did. They can either take it the right way, a bad way, or they're going to be in the middle and be like, you know what? Let me go ask. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ask his intentions, what it was, what he meant by it. I want him to clarify himself before I start believing if it was good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's some shit a lot of people like. That two sides to every story shit. They hear one side and they don't even bother to go to the next person and ask. Because there can be missing words. I'm telling y'all something. So and so tells you something else. I probably missed a few words or a few points. They probably missed a few words or, or, or a few points. I'm probably telling y'all some lies and she's telling the truth or she's telling the lies and I'm telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? You got to hear every fucking side of a story, bro. Every time, because it never, never, never aligns.
about you. But listen, if you're just trying to ghost me without even getting my side, I'm not even trying to fight for that friendship, relationship, whatever friendship. Yeah, Back to the matter, most people just don't take rejection well, and we all know this. Oh. They have short-term memory, or maybe they thought they responded to you, and then weeks later, they're too embarrassed to text back anymore? That's a good one. They warned you about something, you ignored them, ghosted. Granted, we're all human, so maybe not just off of one warning, maybe give us, give us a second warning, maybe. The only time I've ghosted somebody, I mean ghosted as in no warning, no nothing, just poof, vamoose, drop off the face of the earth, block. Me and my boy Aaron were at the mall, and we all had those conversations that are suitable for our friends' ears only, but not anybody else outside of our immediate circle, right? So me and him were having one of those conversations, and then he interrupts me and he goes, oh shoot, don't look now, but I think that girl that just walked by us heard what you just said, but don't look. And instantly I'm like, Brr! <laughs> and I see this girl, and she has this look on her face like, hey, yo. oh my God. She'd walk past and she was on an escalator going down. So she was literally like, check my Instagram. <laughs> and I have a message from somebody who looks like the girl from the mall. I opened that thing so fast. The fuck? Hey, was that you at the mall today? Maybe. Was that you going down the escalator? <laughs> oh my God, it was you? You looked like you overheard part of our conversation. Um, what did you overhear by chance? I didn't hear anything. I just saw you. Cap, 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 cap. So then wh why were you looking at me like that as you were going down the escalator? Dude, because I've been a fan forever and I never thought I'd actually see you in person. So I was trying to figure out <laughs> if it was actually happening. Nah. So you didn't hear anything? Why? No. You swear? Swear to me! <laughs> what, why? What were y'all talking about? No, nothing. Nothing at all. So we talked for a few days and then she like, we should hang out sometime. Let me get your number. Give the girl my number. And not even a week later, I'm going through my DMs and I'm replying and I get one that says, Swooz, I'm just letting you know, I got a friend who recently got your number and she out here giving it to people. This is weird. <clears throat> this is weird, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. People have told me shit about others where I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm on up to that. You know what I'm saying? This was years ago though. This was probably like a good seven, eight years ago. Right? Six, seven, eight years ago. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, this right here. Somebody else went out of your out of their way to tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Good or bad, whatever. But the least you can do is go find out from the actual person. You know what I'm saying? I don't be giving my number out, so I instantly know who she's talking about. Yeah, I thought it was kind of jacked up, so I'm just letting you know. So I hit mall girl back. Bruh, are you out here giving out my number? Yeah, what's the big deal? Uh, oh, I figured oh. I didn't have to say this, but I apparently have to say this. Oh, Please no. don't give my number out to anybody. So that gave me the ick big time right there. We talk a lot less after that. And then a few months later, out of the blue oh. random, this girl hits me with, I eat birds. I just ate a bird. I've been drinking, so I'm a little woozy, but I eat birds. I literally kill birds and eat them. Blocked. I'm, you know what? I, I'm out. The block, fuck? block, block, no explanation, ghost. Why Even though I know that? my friends have blocked people for a lot less, I still felt kind of bad. Like you were, you know, you were drinking that night, but I just started to see the signs and where this was going. So as I start working on this video, I remember, oh shoot, I wonder what mall girl is up to. So I unblock her and message her, and I explain to her why I stopped talking to her. So we start catching up. Yeah, I'm married now. Sorry for the way I acted. Done. Cool, cool. All good, water under the bridge. In the off chance that you randomly remember what me and Aaron were talking about at the mall all those years ago, you better not tell anybody. I man, really, I really hit her up just for that, bro. Oh. This was hilarious. I'm glad my old girl found someone who doesn't mind that she eats birds. That's my heart goes out to the people who were ghosted by their crush. One of the wildest experiences to witness. For me, ghosting is always <clears throat> a last resort. <clears throat> Unless someone's behavior feels like it could risk my health or safety, which has happened. That's crazy. I try explaining to someone why I don't want to keep talking with them and I'm straightforward to a, to a fault and I elaborate a lot, especially if I ask for the question. So if they don't get it, that's on them. Seriously, ghosting others is just a scummy thing to do and you don't know what kind of people are out there. You ghost someone, then 
they know where you live, work, or freak, and then they're showing up to the place until they get an answer. It's fucking weird, bro. Just tell people the truth. Yeah, it's hard. Nobody ever said the right thing is easy. It's the easy thing, but things will be better for both parties if they do. Thank you motherfucking very much, bro. Just tell people what it is. Tell people how you feel. Everybody's so quick and everybody's so quick in general to accept, oh yeah, everybody should open up about how they feel so they're not in their head so many times, but yet they're doing this motherfucking thing. They're ghosting these people. Literally going against that whole generalization of people having to open up with each other. You're literally going against that. You're not acting on that. Because you're ghosting somebody and leaving them to think in their heads, be in their heads all the time. Then to think about what they're doing. Then to think about what you did. Trying to figure it out on themselves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just mind fucking themselves. Like, come on. Literally. It's not fucking hard. Be real. And they be the same people saying, oh, I like me a real person. Tell me how it is. Tell me all the truth. Really? How come you can't do it? You know what I'm saying? Ah. <sighs> Generally, I feel the best advice and not the easiest by is not to kill yourself over it. Maybe relay a story of what happened to a friend and if they can't give you a reason for the ghost then. Or they can and it's just something stupidly consequential. And just let the ghost go haunt someone else. You probably don't want anyone in your life who leave that easily to do, to begin with. And you shouldn't be letting yourself lose sleep over something you can't control over. Exactly. People be acting these days. Close your heart to it. Do you and move on. Simple as that, bro. Feel me? If you're getting ghosted, don't take don't take it serious. I understand how you feel because it's happened to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm sitting here saying, tell motherfuckers how you feel and that's it. Just so they can leave. Knowing what it was and what it is that's it not them being in their heads you feel me but if you're being ghosted type shit bro just move on just move on don't 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 be thinking so crazy about this shit you know what i'm saying i know easier said than done of course but crazy hey man you feel me let me know what you guys think that's my reaction from the drug of this video like subscribe if you haven't and i'm out